<laughs> well, One Direction have sold more than four million albums in just six months and are the first ever British group to debut at number one on the US Billboard charts with their debut album. They're number one here in Australia and in 13 countries, and they join us now for their first ever live Australian interview. Please welcome Louis, Harry, Liam, Niall, and Jane. One Direction. Hello. 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 This is incredible, boys. Congratulations. Thank Hardy, you congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How's it all going? You having yeah, fun? Yeah, yeah, really good. I mean, it's amazing to even be here in Australia and I've travelled this far. The plane journey was massive, but it's, uh, it's great to be here. I can say, this is an amazing place. Yeah, We're absolutely. Really love it. Waste much time. You arrived Not yesterday all, no. and you were straight on to Sydney Harbour yeah. and straight into that water. I mean, we're approaching colder temperatures here at the moment. We're, didn't we're from the UK and, and that's uh, it's very hot for us. <laughs> you, have to, you have to commend Louis on his bravery. He was first straight in the water. Yeah. No problems. Well done. Well done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, yeah, it was a pretty rough day. There was a little bit seasick at all. No seasickness? No, no, it was, no, it was fine. It was good, Joe. Really good. We did notice that one of you, um, one of you, was captured in the hotel. It was kind of a grainy photo, and yeah. it showed one of you having a, a little tattoo. Now Wait, I don't know who it was. I don't know who it was. I don't know who it was, but we're going to have to get all your shirts off to confirm. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't exactly place a bet on that one, Harry, <laughs> if I was you. Yeah, thank oh, come you. On, Guys, <laughs> could you have imagined that things would end up like this at this stage in your careers no, when you first got no, together? I think, you know, when we first got put together, we were, we were kind of taking the competition on the X Factor, like, week by week, just having a lot of fun. And, you know, the stuff that we've done now is more than any of us could have ever asked for, and we're just having such a good time. It's amazing. We obviously have amazing friends. <laughs> We owe everything that, that we get to do to them, so that they really are amazing. It's quite amazing how it's happened too, because I know that teenage girls are onto things much quicker than the rest of us oldies yeah. certainly are. But the transition um, to go from from that show and become mainstream, and I think you're in several countries worldwide, you're number one now. That is a massive leap. Like a, a massive. You leap. know, when, when you were reading there, like saying that we had four million. Album sold in six months. Like I literally got goosebumps because yeah, we, so we didn't even. We don't really know. What <laughs> no one tells us. Yeah. No one tells us. It's, it's an amazing you, feeling to hear that, you know, because we don't expect it really, you know. Do you remember? Everything's moving so quick. Yeah, that was kind of yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But just, I know it wasn't that long ago, but do you remember the first time you heard one of your songs on the radio? You just uh, actually was, in the studio at the time. It was the the day when it got, first got announced, wasn't it? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was so strange to hear on the radio, but you were in the studio, so I didn't really realise it. But like in the car, I think afterwards we heard it again yeah. later on. So it's just so so surreal. So you don't feel like that person on the radio is you. It's yeah. still really surreal for mm. us, really. And then to to um, go to where you are now, and to be surrounded by um, this hysteria, this mayhem that is the girls, the, the, the sensation of it all. Is it hard to retain yourselves in all of that? I don't know. It's only been quick, but is it hard to maintain your own private? lives and, and your own selves in that in that I think I think you know thing. we all kind of we all kind of keep each other grounded and we have we have a really good team around <laughs> us and uh, you know our families are really supportive and really good at keeping us grounded so I think you know it's important that we have each other for that um, <clears throat> obviously like since we've been over here the fans it's been absolutely crazy like we really like going out and seeing our fans and stuff and it's been a bit of a new experience for us because local police and security and stuff have not been letting us go out so that's been a bit weird but um you know we, we want to see these guys so it's, we it's always nice try. To <laughs> The only time we, we, we might not go out to see people is actually when their safety is at risk and you know we don't yeah. want no, to anything's happened to you <laughs> So, so we could never go out together, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to be at the Logies on, on Sunday night. Yes, Carl yes. is, of course, last year's gold Logie winner. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. What a man! Can I just, can I just suggest, for the sake of not too many headlines, do not go out with this man no, on no, Sunday No, no, it's dangerous. Night. It's dangerous. Yeah. And, and don't worry, Logie is not kind of some weird condition that you can get by going out. It's, uh, it's actually in the <laughs> <laughs> Can I just please compliment your socks? I was yeah. literally Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Look, Look at those bad boys. That's a gold. Yeah. Give it up for the socks.
that's the way you work. Thank you, thank you. That's a gold bogey right there. <laughs> hey, listen, we might go to the audience for a, uh, a, a question or two. She's excited, she's excited. She's yeah, more than anyone. We've got Phoebe here. Yeah. <laughs> go to Hannah first, Dickie. Yeah, Hannah's, Hannah's a yeah, superstar. Go. Phoebe. Hello. Hey, um, <laughs> when did you guys first develop an interest in music and performing? Bless you. Oh. <laughs> um, just when we were little, I think we all did like different things at school. I think mainly was the thing like just doing like little Ages. productions and How stuff. Old How old was I? Probably. Off the top of your head. Oh God, twelve or Got thirteen. Matt? Uh, well, ten. Played Oliver and then school about play. Eight. I was in school choir about. Yeah. Eight. Over to you, Harold. Yeah, about nine. I was like 16, so I'm. <laughs> <laughs> You're a late bloomer. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they call me. <laughs> so I got. That's a very cheeky look. <laughs> hey, we got Bailey over here too, Bailey. What's your question? Um, what's the weirdest thing anyone's ever asked you or said to you? Somebody once asked to lick my face. Yeah, just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did somebody yeah. asked to lick your eyeball as well. That was Harry, I think, that was. <laughs> <laughs> That was a strange hold night. Him. <laughs> yeah, we won't go so, into it. Yeah. <laughs> so hold him. Hey, Rebecca, you got a question? Um, who are your idols and why? Um, Michael Bublé for me. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a, I heard he's quite big down here. Yeah, he is. Yeah, if you've got a Bublé song that you want to... Just... Nah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, he's just a, he's a great performer. Uh, he seems like he's up for a good laugh. And he's just an all-rounder, really. Mm. As like as far as groups go, probably like for all of us, like take that. Take that, yeah. yeah they, mm. They're really good. They did. They smashed it. Michaela, what's your question, sweetie? Uh, How did you come up with the name One Direction? Great. Over to Harry. Oh. Harold. 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 Like names constantly, and then I kind of thought what might sound good when the X Factor man said it. <laughs> so then I text the boys that. Text, text the boys that, and then they all seem to like it. So. It was actually one of the first names. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. The first yeah, ten names, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Cool. Please, uh. Josie, what's your question? How do you cope with all this? Like all these fans and all these. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think it's something you really have to cope with. We just kind of enjoy it, you know. We're just, you know, boys on the road having a laugh, and then. You guys just come out of nowhere, so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> got, uh, got a couple of questions up here, Embla. When was the first moment that you were walking down the street and you realised you had made it as a performer? Um, I don't yeah. think you ever really do that. I don't think, like... I think it's important to not kind of say, like, this is where we've kind of done it. I think, like, you need to make sure that you're always on your toes and making sure that you're trying goals. to be better and setting new goals yeah. and stuff to make sure you don't kind of become complacent and stuff. So for us, we just want to keep having a good time and working hard and see what happens. Cool. Millie? Hi, boys. Um, Hi. I was Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Hi, boys. I'm Millie. Um, I was wondering what your favorite desserts were. Oh, that is a great that's a question. question. That's a good question. That is a great, great question. <laughs> and it's a hard question. Millie, you kick it off, because yeah, you're a big one. dessert man. Oh, Jesus um, Christ. <laughs> Good I'm I'm struggling. I'm struggling as well. I'm going to go for a cookie dough. I was literally yeah. just about to say that. You smashed it. Like, it's like a half-cooked cookie. Ah. Soft centre. Really warm, soft centre. Ice cream on top. Ice cream, you're laughing. I've wow. got yeah. a feeling you're a bowl licker. Like, do you I like the stuff... Oh! <laughs> 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 you're a bowl licker. It's a family show. You know, you know, early morning tea, baby. You know that I've just waited night to use it. Exactly. The world at 11 p.m. No, you know when you make a cake and yeah. before yeah, you put it guy. in the I'm tin. Just a joke. Exactly. <laughs> I am that guy. Exactly. Yes. I knew I there was that. a connection. I Anything else, Lisa? No, that's it. For that. <laughs> <laughs> There's the gold look. Hey, Shona, what do you got? Um, hey, Shona, what do you got? Um, I was wondering, where do you guys think you'll be in 10 years' time? Wow. Uh, no idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Well, it's hard. I think it's such a difficult think, question. Yeah, because, you know, getting to this point now is so difficult to, like, predict doing this. Like, we never expected any of this, so I think, you know, we just kind of... Go with it. We just, we just, we just go with it and just see what happens, yeah. We're in ten years, so... We just want to keep tomorrow. making good music and having fun, <laughs> and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Yeah! yeah. yeah. There is one girl here that um, was at the airport yesterday, and um, that's little Hannah. Hannah, would you mind standing up, darling? No. 
Um, she was at the airport Come yesterday. On. She oh, was geez. very emotional about seeing um, you guys yesterday. So I, I do want to see if Dickie can um, get one question from her. Yeah, of course. Boy, oh boy, you've been a busy girl, huh? Whoa. Whoa. What would you like to say to the lads? You've been following them around now. Here they are in the flesh. <laughs> You're on built up now. Live yeah. national television all around Australia and to lots of people around the world. <laughs> watching on illegal satellite dishes and all sorts of things. <laughs> They're number one in 13 countries. No pressure. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Why don't you come down and give us a cut up? Yeah. <laughs> Quick one. <laughs> Have you got any questions? <laughs> you think about it, yeah, Hannah, for just a second. Up. But, but while, Harry, while you're up, I, I wouldn't. I, I want to uh, admit to you right now and confess that I do have. I'm a happily married father of three kids, but I do have somewhat of a man crush on you. <laughs> and, uh, Doesn't he smell good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they smell, they smell incredible. <laughs> <laughs> now, boys, I shower counted, every day. That was I've, funny. <laughs> I've counted so far this morning 17 separate marriage proposals towards you guys that I know of. Yeah, There's probably know. more out there. Can I make oh, a team? Oh, <laughs> These girls uh, would love to date you. Date you. Is is there any chance? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we. we if you like someone, you like someone. Whether they're a fan of the music is another thing. If they're a fan of the music, it's a bonus. Because, because I, know, I know that almost all of you are single, except maybe is Harry. Oh. No, just me and Harry's. Harry's with Carl. Yeah. Harry's with Carl. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Harry's a newlywed. Yeah. I'm with him for his Logie. Who is single? Who's single? <laughs> no. These two. Oh. Hey, listen, and guys, I've got to ask you. Sorry. Are you... No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's just for the girls. How, <laughs> how did you feel when you heard that your Australian concerts had sold out like that? It was amazing. We were in, we were in America, and uh, you know there was tickets going on sale for different things. For so we were like, this is absolutely incredible. We're the other side of the world. The thing we find so amazing about we going, even been going here to yet. these different countries is like, yeah, we have we haven't been to these countries that we've that we're number one in and stuff. So it's amazing to get try and get around. You know, obviously a lot of people want to want to see us, so we had to try and schedule in to get to all these places. And it was amazing to find out that we'd sold out down here. Yeah. How many people queued up for concerts? How many people queued up for tickets? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there are hundreds of thousands of people around Australia. There are so many people that missed out on concert yeah. Yeah. tickets to see you this time. Liam, you've got a, uh, a pretty big yeah, announcement. Yeah, I've got a little bit of an announcement. Um, <laughs> 2030. In, uh, in 2013, we'll be back again doing a big announcement. Doing that, though, I was like, oh, gosh. Well, you won't just be back. Will, and all these girls will be just that fraction of older boys. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you won't just be back. It is a full national tour. You're going yes. all around wow. Australia yeah. and New Zealand. Yeah. It's going to be the full end. It's going to be a big one. Yeah. You can say that. The big arena, so the, more people get tickets. The big arena tour. Yeah. Before we let you go, we've got some quick questions for you. You're obviously all great mates, but you know, a bit of healthy competition within the group, I'm sure, is a good Surely. thing. So let's work through it. Who's the best dancer? Me. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. Okay. You gonna prove it? Yeah, just a little something. <laughs> okay, who do we think is the best singer? Ooh. Oh. Oh. That's a good one. All of us 
together yeah. in the <laughs> chorus. <laughs> 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 Um, who's the best with the ladies? Ariel. 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 Who spends the most? Who spends the most time getting ready? Louis. Zane. Zane. No, Louis. Zane. Zane. Oh. Oh. It, so used, it used to be Zane, but then Zane kind of got like just get out of bed and did his thing. Okay. Well, you know what, boys? Um, it's been a great. It's a vicious uh, <laughs> It's been a great pleasure to have you in. A great privilege because you're, you're both. The thing about you is you're great. Great role models for these girls. Um, you're in, you know, for, for us dads, you know, our daughters are in safe hands with you guys, and that's a good thing, at least what we can talk I about. about Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, they're staying away from Harry, but thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, congratulations on all your phenomenal success. Uh, we look forward to seeing you at the Logies on Sunday. That's yes. going to be great fun. And uh, thank you for making the Today Show the first stop. <laughs> <laughs> on your Australian tour. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, one direction. Thank, Thank you, you gentlemen. Thank you. Boys, are anything you'd like to say to the uh, crowd before you go? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Anything you'd like to say to the crowd before you go? Thank you very much, guys, for coming. Yeah, you guys are great. Thank you. Thank you. Koala Bear. Ah! Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is it illegal to touch a koala bear? Is it illegal to touch a koala bear? Is it illegal to touch I've a heard... koala bear? Yeah. I heard it was. I heard they're dangerous. Yes, yeah, they can be. They can get really okay. ugly if you... They, yeah. they scratch. They should be happy. They should be happy. They're quite randy. <laughs> they're quite randy. <laughs> yeah, they're randy. <laughs> Thank you, boys. You, you boys. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Thank you, mate. Good to see you. See you later. Bye. Thank you, boys. Just a little reminder, the album is out now. I <laughs> hey, don't forget to buy the album in the two DVD <laughs> album. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? You're all a fluster, aren't you? I am a little bit of a fluster. Look, he's, he's pretty hot, so there's a lot of girls here who understand. You're having a hot flush, oh, actually. Just, yeah, I know what the teenage girls are feeling there now. There you go. <laughs> here are the top stories. This hour on today doesn't get much better than that. <laughs>